Hey, what is up everyone? I'm Starlord and today we're going to be talking a little bit about the announcement that was made yesterday by Bethesda and Sony. And that is that PlayStation mods have now been greenlit for Fallout 4 and Skyrim Remastered. Now, this is all great news, but there is one slight catch, and we will be talking about that in just a second. But firstly, can I just say to all you guys on the PlayStation, I am so happy for you right now, because honestly, I know how it feels to be excluded from things. And the fact that Sony excluded you guys from having mods on your favorite games, that kind of annoyed me. Uh, but anyway, besides all that, I'm pretty happy that you get some sort of mod access on your console. Anyway, let's move on to a more in-depth look at the announcement that was made yesterday. Now, both Bethesda and Pete Hines tweeted this around about the same time, but we'll read Pete Hines' tweet. It says, We kept at it, and PS4 mod support is coming for Fallout 4 and Skyrim SE. Oh, and 4K support too. Now, we won't really talk about the 4K support, as we are here for mods, and of course, in that tweet, there was a link to Bethesda.net, and upon clicking that link, we were actually led to a little bit more info, including some new screenshots of Skyrim Special Edition. And it says here that the mods will launch officially for PlayStation 4 on October 28th, when Skyrim Special Edition is released on PlayStation 4. Now, what it then went on to say is that Fallout 4 will actually have those mods at a later date. So we know now that, you know, they've already done it, implemented it into Skyrim Special Edition, you know, but we will again have to wait for the Fallout 4 patch to implement mods. Now, from this situation, we all, of course, know whose fault it was that, you know, mods didn't get onto Fallout 4 when they were meant to. And, of course, that is Sony or PlayStation. You know, they said no to the mods. And they're actually responsible for what I'm about to say right now. So, as you go down on Bethesda.net, it actually states that you will not be able to upload external assets with your PlayStation 4 mods but you will be able to use any assets that come with the game, as most mods do. By creating a Bethesda.net account, you'll be able to browse and try mods right from within the game. So, you know, that sounds pretty awesome, doesn't it? You know, we, we finally have mods on the PlayStation 4. Everything is hunky-dory. But is it really? No, it's, it's kind of not. So let's read that last part one more time. You will not be able to upload external assets with your PlayStation 4 mods, but you will be able to use any assets that come with the game, as most mods do. Now, see, they say as most mods do, and it's not really incorrect, you know, most mods do use things that are already in the game, but the chances are, if you found a really awesome weapon mod or armor mod, yeah, that was not in the game. The chances are that the modder has actually created it in a 3D modeling program and then used it as an external asset and then put it into the game. So the chances are of you having really, really, really awesome mods on your PlayStation 4 has just decreased by a shitload. Now, let's talk about what you probably will see on your PlayStation 4. So first of all, you will see cheat mods. Uh, these are the things like, you know, the cheat menu in which you can toggle god mode and stuff like that, have infinite resources, which by the way, is pretty awesome in itself. You know, if you guys like settlement building, this is a pretty awesome opportunity for you guys. But when we're talking along the lines of new weapons, there's not gonna really be many. Maybe like a melee weapon that's a shovel or a spoon or something like that, you know, stuff like that. And especially things like, let's say you want a golden baseball bat. Well, using the gold bars texture in the game, you know those gold bars that you see? you can easily take the texture from that gold bar and then place it onto the baseball bat. That is using internal textures, you know, because the internal texture is already in the game. Uh, but let's say you wanted a rainbow-colored fucking bat. Well, no, because you would have to make that outside of the game and then bring it in using some sort of, you know, creation kit or whatever, you know, blah, blah, blah. Um, so anyway, like I'm saying, guys, um, it's a great situation, but Sony has caused it to be a bit of an awkward one for both modders and Bethesda, you know, because some modders will really want to get their stuff 
onto the PlayStation 4 um, using, you know, the internal assets from the game. But let's say they have one external asset, such as a voice clip that they've actually made for themselves. Well, no, that's not going to be able to do it because even that one little asset, just a little voice clip, can stop your mod being uploaded onto Bethesda.net for the PlayStation 4 users, which is very unfortunate. Um, as of yet, we don't really know exactly why uh, this whole situation has ar arisen, I guess. I guess it's PlayStation being very cautious about the, uh, the, the kind of security of their software, and I don't know. Other than that, I don't really have any other kinds of excuses for why they would do this to Bethesda. Um, to be honest, like, if we look at Farming Simulator, I remember when I was going through the list of mods, and there was actually a Coca-Cola truck one, you know, in which you could have a, like, a tractor as a Coca-Cola tractor, and I was thinking, well, that's kind of an external asset, so why can Bethesda not use those external assets, you know? It's a very weird situation, but hopefully, you know, with a little bit more work and time, Bethesda and Sony will come to a better agreement. But until then, I would say this is a fucking amazing thing to happen, and you guys will have some awesome mods on your console. Now, before we end this video, I would like to just say that I do have a couple of friends who do create mods, and I will be reaching out to them to ask them, will they create any specific non-external asset mods so that you guys can actually enjoy them? And some of these modders are actually some of the best in Fallout 4, so hopefully they will get back to me, and as soon as they do, I will make a video updating you guys on what kind of mods you can see on the PS4 version of Fallout 4 and Skyrim Remastered. Anyway guys, I hope you all have an amazing week, and until next time, I've been Star Lord. I'll see ya!